Item number SCP-3037 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3037 is to be kept in a standard safe class storage locker at Site-19. When it is being transported, personnel are not to hold it in their hands. Rather, it may be slid into a wheeled cart and pushed to its destination. SCP-3037-A instances created for testing are to be terminated at the conclusion of each test. Additionally, no more than one instance of SCP-3037-A is to exist at any given time. In the event that multiple instances are created, all of them are to be terminated. Description SCP-3037 is a miniature model of the walled city of Dubrovnik, Croatia. Its base is an irregular octagon that resembles a square measuring 9 centimeters on each edge. It is composed of plaster and painted with acrylic. Persons who hold SCP-3037 Note, holding is here defined as supporting the entire weight of the object with one's hands for at least one whole second making physical contact with the object. Our designated instances of SCP-3037-A Instances of SCP-3037-A believe themselves to actually be the city of the Dvorfnik and speak exclusively in civil coercion. Amnestic treatments have thus far proven ineffective in reversing these effects. SCP-3037-A instances have also exhibited anomalous physical changes corresponding to current events in the city of the Dubrovnik. Any damage sustained by the city causes corresponding bodily harm to instances of SCP-3037-A, which cannot heal unless the city of Dubrovnik is also repaired. A notable example of this was observed in December of 1991, during the siege of Dubrovnik by the Yugoslav People's Army. See Incident Log 3037 Alpha. Testing has shown that this relationship is not reciprocal. Instances of SCP 3037A may be harmed without causing corresponding damage to the real city of Dubrovnik. Instances of SCP-3037-A believe themselves to be parents of SCP-3037 itself. As such, they are reluctant to put it down or expose it to harm. If they are forced to give up SCP-3037 or it appears to be damaged, they show reactions consistent with those of parents whose children have been harmed. Multiple concurrent instances of SCP-3037-A may exist at any given time and appear willing to put down SCP-3037 only if they are handing it over to another instance. Even when these instances are aware of each other's existence, they do not show signs of distress. If, for example, there are 10 SCP-3037-A instances in existence, they claim there exist 11 copies, including the actual city, of the city of Dubrovnik, all of which are parents of SCP-3037. Recovery Log In the summer of 1988, Dr. Peep, a researcher at Site-19, began exhibiting a streak of absenteeism. Investigation of his home by Foundation agents found that he had been at home the entire time, and had been affected by the object that was later designated SCP-3037. Further investigation found that Dr. Beep had never been to Dubrovnik, and had brought SCP-3037 at a local art exhibit. The object was originally wrapped and boxed, and he did not directly hold it until removing it from the box in his home. The company organizing the art exhibit had no records of a vendor selling art inspired by Yugoslavia or the Dalmatian coast region. Because payment for the object was made in cash, the identity of the artist is unknown. The exact nature of SCP-3037's anomalous properties was determined during recovery 
As a Foundation agent handled the object after bringing the first SCP-3037-A instance, formerly Dr. Beep, into containment, this agent in turn became an SCP-3037-A instance. Containment was established when both SCP-3037-A instances were tranquilized and the object was handled with tongs to be placed into its current safe class storage locker. Interviewer Log 3037 Aleph Interviewer Dr. Beep, a researcher at Site-19 Subject, an instance of SCP-3037-A, formerly Dr. Beep. At the time of the interview, there were six instances of SCP-3037-A. The contents of this log has been translated into English from civil Croatian. Extraneous data have been redacted. Begin log. 14th of July, 1988. 11 hours, 15 minutes, 7 seconds. How are you feeling today? The same as usual. Rocky, ancient, humid. Warm today. An SCP-3037. My daughter. She is doing well, but please be quiet. She is sleeping. Of course, I would like to confirm some of your previous statements. You are the ancient ward city of Dubrovnik, correct? Correct. One of seven Dubrovniks. Can you tell me how an entire city has arms and legs or fits inside this one room? Cities have arms and legs, a whole body, and they fit inside rooms. I'm not sure what it is you are asking. Could you please define city for me? A place where many people live, made of buildings, stone, maybe wood. It has a body that can fit inside a room, and it is composed of several neighborhoods. There are seven of the city of the Pufnik. And how does an entire city have a daughter? Doctor, I hope you will excuse my modesty. I do not want to answer that question. I am a scientist. You will not disgust me. Fine. A city is made of marble, is it not? Some cities are. My daughter was, well, carved from my marble. It is quite simple, really. She will make an excellent city herself one day. Thank you. I have no more questions for today. End log. 14th of July, 1988. 11 hours, 18 minutes, 14 seconds. Note, chemical analysis of SCP-3037 consistently indicates that it is not made of marble. Incident log. 3037 Alpha. Siege of the Pofnik. Beginning in October of 1991, the Yugoslav People's Army besieged the real city of Dubrovnik. At the time, the Foundation had 15 instances of SCP-3037-A in custody. During the siege, each of these instances reported some difficulty in eating, and minor lacerations manifested at times corresponding to actual attacks on the city of Dubrovnik. The bombardment of the old town of Dubrovnik reached its peak on the 6th of December, 1991, at almost exactly 6 Central European time. During this bombardment, all 15 instances of SCP-3037-A exploded in succession, roughly one second apart. The order in which they exploded was observed to correspond to the order in which they were created. The first instance of SCP-3037-A exploded with relatively little force, but each successive explosion was increasingly powerful. The last instance exploded with force equivalent to roughly one ton of TNT. Reaching several containment chambers at Site-19 and resulting in the loss of beep personnel, it is hypothesized that instances of SCP-3037-A have an anomalous connection not only with the real city of Dubrovnik, but also with each other. Therefore, 
the second instance of SCP-3037-A was not only damaged by the shelling of the Provnik, but also by the explosion of the first instance, and so on. In this way, the explosive force of the first instance of SCP-3037-A was multiplied by 2 to the 14th power by the time the 15th instance exploded. Due to this incident, it is now prohibited for more than one instance of SCP-3037-A to exist at any given time.